Hi, I'm Tony Mesa with Tony Mesa Real Estate School. I'm going to record a short video explaining the Sales Associate Exam Cram videos. The Sales Associate Exam Cram videos are designed to help you pass your Sales Associate Florida Sales Associate State Examination. Um, what I did is for many years I taught a classroom cram. A few years ago I decided I'm going to record on video what I teach in my classroom cram and that is the sales associate exam cram video. So the sales associate exam cram videos, they're on demand online exam cram videos where you're able to go to TonyMesoRealEstateSchool.com once you've registered and paid for the video. You're able to go to student login, you're able to watch the videos as long as you have an internet connection and then it's 18 hours of video approximately um, and it's also uh, approximately an 80 page outline that I've written for the state exam. And what it does is it focuses you on understanding the information, right? This is the key to why these videos uh, and outline have been very effective in helping people pass the state exam. Uh, it's not just you're trying to memorize stuff, you're trying to understand it, right? And in the videos, what I do is I repeat things that are heavily tested over and over again. I mention them at different points, tie it all in together. The stuff that I spend a lot of time on is stuff that's heavily tested. The stuff that I go through faster is not as heavily tested. And um, I'm always keeping track of things. Uh, I'm always talking with students who've taken the state exam and everything is up to date. So it is 18 hours in total, right? Uh, approximately. Why do I say approximately? Tomorrow I might add a video. Uh, tomorrow I might edit a video, right? Tomorrow I might delete a video, all depending on different changes, uh, things that are you're being tested on, okay? So it's approximately 18 hours of video. Um, and then it's approximately an 80 page outline, right? Uh, approximately, because again, I, I edit the outline all the time, right? All right, so how, does, how much is this? It's $99. If you are taking the classroom course with me, the full classroom sales associates course with me, it's included with the classroom course, right? These are the same videos my classroom students use to do their preparation for this, their final preparation for the state exam. Um, if you're taking the online course with me, the full online course with me, the videos are also included, right? So the, the idea is this is you've taken the course at another school or you are taking the course with another school, right? Because sometimes it's somebody who's still taking their course but another school, they, have, they haven't yet finished their course. Either way, right, you're not taking the full course with me. That's where the sales associate uh, exam cram videos have been very effective in helping people pass the state exam, okay? All right, so how does it work? Um, you go to TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com, and, and look, by the way, where are you watching this video? You might be watching this video on YouTube. You might be watching this video on my main website, which is TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com. So on TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com, you would go to the register and pay page, and you would go to the sales associate exam cram videos, and you would register and pay for the sales associate exam cram videos. Then what happens is you create an account with an email address and a password, right? And then once you've created that account with that email and that password, you're gonna receive a follow-up email. Then you click on a link in that follow-up email to verify your email address. Then you're able to go to student login, sales associate exam cram videos, login and start watching the videos, right? And you do have 24 seven access to the videos as long as you have an internet connection. You have to have an internet connection to watch the videos, right? Um, does it, do the videos play on computers? Yes. Do the videos play on tablets? Yes. Do the videos play on phones? Yes. Pretty much the videos are designed to play on everything. Um, if you have any type of uh, technical issue, most technical issues are resolved by simply using Chrome as a browser. Uh, but there's additional, in the download, there's additional information, different things uh, in case you do have any issues with the videos pausing or freezing, you could adjust the, the, the resolution of the videos, that sort of thing. And, and we're here to help you if, in case you have any problems with the videos. Um, how long do you have access to the videos? You have access to the videos uh, the sooner of the day you pass the state exam or one year from purchase. So if you buy the videos today and you pass your state exam in a month, access ends in a month. If you buy the videos today and, act, and you pass your state exam in three months, access ends in three months. What about you buy the videos today, one year from now the access ends anyway, right? So how long do you have access to the videos? Either one year, one year from purchase, or the day you pass the state exam, whichever one of those two things happens sooner, okay? All right, now, when you go to the register and pay page, I wanna to mention to you very quickly, I have a sales associate exam cram video 
uh, uh, pr product, which is for the sales associate state exam. I have the real estate broker exam crime videos for the broker state exam. And I have the mutual recognition exam crime videos, which is for the mutual recognition law exam. Um, make sure you buy the correct one, right? So if you're taking the sales associate state exam, you want to buy the sales associate exam cram videos. So very simple. Go to TonyMasonRealEstateSchool.com. Go to register and pay. You, you select the sales associate exam cram videos. Uh, you enter your information. You submit. You pay. Then you're going to get instructions to create your accounts. Uh, your account, you create it with your email address and a password. Um, two things about creating your account. Number one, right? If you're doing this on a phone, sometimes the instructions download to wherever your phone downloads go to, right? Um, so sometimes people don't see this and then they don't see the instructions, right? Um, in the receipt that you will also receive via email, there's a PDF in the middle of the receipt and that has the instructions for you to create your account repeated. So if you miss for some weird reason, you don't see you're able to create the account the minute you register and pay, the receipt is going to have a PDF document in there where you could click on that and then that'll have a link you click on and you can uh, create your account with your email address and your password, right? Uh, number, number two, um, there's the follow-up email. I get calls, Tony, I created my account and I can't log in. What is it 99.9% .9 of the time? It's after you create your account with your email and your password, you're gonna receive a second email that you have to click on a link to verify your email address. Then you're able to go to student login and then you're able to start watching the videos, right? When you go to student login, if you see hi and then your name, right? So if your name is Susan and it says hi Susan, or your name is Mike and it says hi Mike, then you just click on your name. That means you're still logged in, right? If you don't see hi in your name, that's where you have to click on sales associate exam cram videos, put in your email address, put in your password and log in, right? If you're gonna be watching the videos a lot on phones, which is a very common thing, a lot of phones tend to auto-capitalize the first letter of passwords. So if you're gonna have a letter as the first character in your password, you might just wanna have an uppercase letter so you don't have to keep on going back and changing the case of the letter right on the phone, right? So what happens is phones tend to make the first letter uppercase. So if you're planning on watching these videos most of the time on a phone and you are gonna use a letter as the first character of your password, uppercase letter is probably a good idea, right? The password is case sensitive. If you make something lowercase, it has to be lowercase. If you make something uppercase, it has to be uppercase, right? Right, again, there is, there is in the instructions, there's a whole troubleshooting thing, uh, uh, troubleshooting information there. Um, most of the problems get resolved by just using Chrome, very simple. But if you have any issues, just you could contact us, right? Okay, what about um, when you log into the videos? How do you use these videos? Here we go. P the videos are split into four pages. Each page has about 15 videos. You watch all the videos on page one, then you watch all the videos on page two, then you watch all the videos on page three, then you watch all the videos on page four, right? So you're watching all 18 hours of video. Then, what are you doing? You're printing out the outline and you're reading that outline from beginning to end one time. Not just the highlights in the outline. There are things that are highlighted, they're especially high probability. You're, you're reading the entire outline one time, right? Then, on page four of the videos, the last 10 videos on page four, nine of them are called the day before the test. One of them is called the test taking tips video. You repeat those last 10 videos. You already saw those one time. You repeat those last 10 videos. Then, you reread all the yellow highlights in the outline, right? And then you go take your state exam. What happens if you do all that and you have extra time left over? Repeat the last 10 videos on page four, reread the yellow highlights in the outline. What happens if you still have extra time before your state exam? Repeat the last 10 videos, reread the highlights in the outline. So let me be clear with everybody. What's the perfect way of using these videos in this outline? Step number one, you watch all the videos one time. So everything on page one in order, page two, page three, page four, 18 hours of video. Then read the outline one time from beginning to end. Then repeat the last 10 videos and then reread the highlights in the outline. Um, what happens if that last reread of highlights in the outline, um, you're still having issues remembering some of those highlights? You know, by then, a lot of it should be pretty much in, in, you know, in there. Um, you could buy 100 index cards and maybe write on index cards just the highlights you're not remembering at that point in time, okay? Um, all right, now, what about um, uh, how can you see what these videos are like before you purchase anything? Go to YouTube, and on YouTube, 
I have a bunch of free high probability math problems for the state exam. So the math videos that I have on YouTube, YouTube, these are all high probability math problems for the state exam. State exam is 10% math, 90% not math. So in the sales associate exam crime videos, the vast majority of it is not math. And again, what happens? What does it cover? It covers laws, it covers principles and practices, it covers all these things that you're heavily tested on uh, when you go take the state exam. And it covers uh, the math that's on YouTube and, and more math concepts as well, right? Again, what I do is if I spend a lot of time on a topic, if I repeat regarding a particular topic, it's because this tends to be heavily tested, right? All right, what about um, questions that I get all the time? I'm taking my state exam in another state, or these exam cram videos are a good thing for me to buy. Um, look, these videos are Florida specific. I've recorded them specifically for the Florida real estate uh, sales associate state examination. So if you're taking a, the sales, the equivalent of a sales associate examination in another state, um, there's gonna be some overlap, usually with the principles and practices. Usually the license law is very different from state to state. It's a judgment call you have to make, but the videos are Florida specific, right? What about I'm taking the course at another school, right? Um, should I buy the videos after I pass my end of class exam or should I buy the videos uh, now and, and use them dual purpose to help me with the course and to help me with the, then with the state exam. So again, the way that, the way that access works is for, from the day you purchase, um, it's up to one year or the day you pass the state exam, whichever is sooner, right? So you're going to have access for that amount of time. And during that time, you can repeat as much as you like. So if you're taking the course in another school, you might say to yourself, let me buy the videos and start using the videos now to understand the concepts, right? And then I'll continue to use it to do my final preparation for the state exam. A uh, word of caution, if there's some type of conflict between your online course um, and or your classroom course and something that I say in the videos, um, that's something you have to figure out with, with uh, the school that you're doing your classroom course with you for purposes of your end of class exam, usually you want to just go with the content or the material they're giving you. Then for purposes of state exam, it's 100% it's focus on the videos and the outline, right? All right, what about, I'm buying this the day before. This is another thing I get, okay? I get a call um, from somebody who's taking the state exam tomorrow, right? And I'm thinking about buying the videos today. You don't have enough time to do everything the right way. You don't have enough time to watch all the videos on page one, then page two, then page three, then page four, then read the outline one time then repeat the last 10 videos on page four, then reread the highlights and the outline. So what is it that I recommend you do? I recommend that if you're buying the videos, the exam, sales associate exam current videos today and you're taking your state exam tomorrow, watch all the videos, the last 10 videos on page four. So you watch the day before the test videos. Right now it's the day before the test, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There are nine of them called the day before the test. In the future, there might be a day before the test 10. If there's a day before the test 10, then watch that one as well, right? But right now, it's the day before the test, nine of those videos. And then the very last video on page four is called the test taking tips video. And the idea is that then you, you watch that test taking tips video. Look, those last videos, those last 10 videos on, on page four, that's the stuff that's coming up over and over and over again, right? So it's especially high probability, right? Um, and then you read all the yellow highlights in the outline. The things that are yellow highlights in the outline are very high probability for the state exam. And you go take your state exam. You pass, great. What happens if doing that limited amount you don't pass, then you, you, you go back home, you watch all the videos on page one one time, all the videos on page two, all the videos on page three, all the videos on page four. Then you read the outline one time in full. Then you repeat the last 10 videos and then you reread the highlights in the outline. And that's the ideal way to use this, right? Um, what about if you go take the state exam and you don't, you don't pass after watching all these videos and reading all these highlights. Um, I got a call um, a few months ago from a student who calls me up and he is extremely happy because he just got a 71 in the state exam, right? 71 is not passing, you need a 75 in the state exam. And, and the guy basically says to me, Tony, you don't understand. So I took the, the course, I didn't, you know, he didn't take the course with me. I took the course a year ago. Um, I have taken the state exam 10 times in the last year, and every single time I go test, I am scoring in the 50s. So I just went and I just scored much higher. I just went up a bunch of points after watching your video. So what did I say to him there? I said to him, okay, so what I want you to do is, I want you to reschedule your state exam um, for as soon as possible, repeat the last 10 videos on page four, reread the yellow highlights in the outline, 
repeat the last 10 videos on page four, reread the yellow highlights in the outline, repeat the last 10 videos on page four, reread the yellow highlights in the outline, because he had already watched everything one time. So re that repetition of the last 10 videos of reading the yellow highlights in the outline three times, he went a few days later and then he passed, right? And he was done with it, right? So the videos have been very, very effective in helping people pass the state exam. Um, very briefly about myself, I'm a graduate of Rutgers College and Harvard Law School. I'm admitted to the bar in Florida and in New York. Um, I've got my real estate broker this license years ago in Florida. I had a brokerage for many, many years. Um, I serve as an expert witness in real estate matters. What's the most important thing for you guys? Um, I, have in per I have personally, in a classroom setting, taught thousands and thousands and thousands of students, right? And I've prepared thousands and thousands of students for the state exam. And the goal with these videos is to help you guys pass your state exam so that you're able uh, to start with your real estate careers. So again, where do you go? You go to TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com. You go to the register and pay page and you look for sales associate exam cram videos. Everybody have a great one. Bye-bye.